Welcome back to the optimization videos and we have yet another box problem but this is a different type of box problem. This is a, this is a box with cut corners problem which is another popular type of problem that we see in calculus. In this problem we have another open top box and it is to be made from a 24 inch by 36 inch piece of cardboard by removing a square from each corner of the box and folding up the flaps on each side. Now if you're having difficulty visualizing what that's going to look like, don't worry, I have visuals here for you. Let's just read what our goal is for this problem. The first question is what size square should be cut out of each corner to maximize the box's volume? So we're focusing on maximizing the volume of this box. And what is the maximum volume of the box? So what size square are we going to cut out of the, out of the cardboard? and what is the maximum volume, volume of the box. So here's your visual. Here's your piece of cardboard. This piece of cardboard we are told is 24 inches in length and 36 inches in width or vice versa if you would prefer that. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a corner in the form of a square. You see how we have X's as our, as our measurements for the boxes or for the, for the squares that we're cutting out. So each one of these four corners we're going to cut out a square and our job is to find out what that x value is. What is the length of each one of those squares going to be in order to maximize the box's volume. Again, if you're having difficulty visualizing what this is going to look like in the form of a box, well, remember that we're cutting this piece out, we're cutting this piece out, cutting this piece out, and cutting this piece out, and then these long rectangles on each of the four sides of the cardboard, they're going to be folded up and it's going to look something like that when you do the folding. So here's your cardboard box. Now, the first thing you need to understand is where these measurements come from and they come from the cutting. Why is it that the box now has a length of 24 minus 2x inches when it was 24 inches over here? Well, it's because we cut out this piece and we cut out this piece. So it's not 24 inches anymore. Now the box is 24 inches minus this X and minus that X. Therefore, it's 24 minus 2X. And the same thing goes for this length over here, which was 36 inches originally. Well, we cut out an X length over here and an X length over here. So now this box is going to have a length of 36 inches minus this x minus this x or 36 minus 2x and the height as we fold this piece up or we fold this piece up and fold this piece up and this piece up that's going to have a height of x inches and that's where all of the dimensions come from. Now in order to maximize the box's volume I need to make a function for this box's volume in particular. And do you know what the volume of this box is? Do you remember the formula? Well, I hope that you would, would know the formula for the volume of a rectangular prism. The volume is equal to length times width times height. So the volume is the thing that we are trying to maximize. We're going to call that V of X. Do we have the length? Yes, we do. Do we have the width? Yes, we do. And do we have the height? Yes, we do. So let's find our volume function. And there it is. V of x is equal to 36 minus 2x times 24 minus 2x times x. Now we're going to perform a little bit of algebra. I'm going to multiply these two binomials together, and that will give me a result of 864 minus 72x minus 48x plus 4x squared. And remember that this x is still on the end here. I haven't done anything with that just yet. I now see that I have like terms here in the middle, so I'm going to put those like terms together and put this into standard form. So now I see that I have the 4x squared in front, negative 72x minus 48x is negative 120x, and on the end we have the constant term plus 864, and that x is still on the end. I will now distribute that x into the set of parentheses, giving me my volume function, which is 4x cubed minus 120x squared plus 864x. And this is the function that I am going to optimize. Or more specifically, I'm going to find its critical values in order to maximize this box's volume. How do we find those critical values? Well, we first have to take the first derivative. 
We start with the volume formula, and we take its derivative using the power rule. The derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared. The derivative here is negative 240x, and the derivative here is 864. Review your rules for the product for the product or the excuse me the power rule of derivatives if you don't understand how I got that answer. And then in order to find those critical values, we set equal to zero, and we solve for x. There is a little bit of an issue here with the quadratic formula. Yeah, it's not very easy to solve for x in this case because we are dealing with a quadratic function that cannot be factored. Since we can't factor this equation, you have to use the quadratic formula. And I'm not going to show the steps to that in this video because I'd like to leave the length of this video a little bit shorter. And also, um, that could be another video. So maybe I'll make one for the quadratic formula as well. But when you do apply the quadratic formula, these are the two x values that you get. We get two critical values in this case. We've only seen situations so far where we were getting one critical value, but now we have two. So what are these critical values? Are they both maximums? Are they both minimums? Is one a max and one a min? Well, how do we know? How do we figure that out? Well, we apply the second derivative test. We take the second derivative of v of x, so we take the derivative of v prime of x. The derivative of 12x squared is 24x. The derivative of negative 240x is negative 240. And the derivative of the constant term is 0, so that just goes away. And then we test our two critical values. We're going to take those two critical values of 15.29 and 4.71, and we're going to plug them into the second derivative. When I substitute 15.29 into the second derivative, this is what it's going to look like here, and we get a result of 126.96. That is a positive value or greater than zero. When we get a positive value, that means that our function in that area where x is equal to 15.29 is concave up, which means that 15.29 is the x value of a minimum. Do we want a minimum? Look over here. You see it? You see it? Yes, you do. No, we don't want a minimum. We want a maximum. So, no, we're not going to use 15.29. Are we going to use 4.71? Let's plug that into the second derivative, and we see that we get a negative 126.96. That is a negative number that is less than zero. When we get a number less than zero, that means that the area, the function in that area, is concave down, and this point of x is equal to 4.71 is a maximum at that x value. So I'm going to reject 15.29 because that would minimize the box's volume. That's not what I want to do. And I am going to accept 4.71. That is going to help maximize the box's volume. So we accept, and what have we found? Well, we've found the answer to our first question. What size square should be cut out of each corner to maximize the box's volume? Well, if you remember, those, those boxes, those, those squares that we were cutting the corners of, they had an edge of x inches. And we found what x is. x is 4.71. Therefore, the square should have a side that measures, should have side measures of 4.71 inches. And that's your answer to question number one. How do we find the answer to question number two? What is the maximum volume of the box? Well, you see this volume function? What do you think you need to do with it? Did, did you find something that might be helpful in this situation? Yeah, you found what this is. See this x right there? You found out what that is. That's 4.71. So let's plug 4.71 into that volume function. Let the algebra work itself out, and 1825.296444 is the result I get, which means the square will have a maximum volume of approximately 1,825 inches cubed. That is the answer to the second question. What is the maximum volume of the box? The maximum volume of the box is approximately 1,825 cubic inches. Please let me know if this was helpful in the comments below. Thank you for watching.